Sunday, being the 20th Sunday in the ordinary time of the year, I want to reflect on truth. The word truth is simply from the Latin word veritas and its Greek equivalent aletia, which simply means to disclose, to uncover, or to reveal. In our first reading taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 38 from verse 4 to 10, Jeremiah said the truth to a group of army, and because of this, the prince and his courts were not happy with him. In our gospel reading taken from the gospel of Luke, chapter 12 from verse 49 to 53, our Lord Jesus Christ said that he has come to set the world on fire and equally to bring division. Many people have often asked me questions. Why will Jesus Christ, a man of peace and harmony, make that kind of comment? Don't take it literally. What Jesus meant here is truth. Take for instance, someone who is a chain smoker or a drunk, having health issues, who decides to visit a doctor. The doctor will probably tell the person to desist from drinking or smoking in order to live longer. This is a clear truth and it will set the person's heart on fire and further bring division between the person and cigarettes or alcohol. This is what truth does. The prophet Malachi in Malachi chapter 3 from verse 2 tells us about the refiner's fire. Before a good can be authentic, it will pass through fire. And that is what Jesus Christ meant here. When we are taught the truth, or when we listen to the words of the prophets on avoiding sin, it sets our hearts on fire. And further, it brings division. It divides us from sin and unites us to God. As people called and baptized to be Christians, we are supposed to emulate the prophets in saying the truth. But hear this, the road of the truth teller is often a rocky one. Many prophets of old were killed because they said the truth. The prophet Jeremiah died in the hands of his own people because he said the truth. Our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified because he said the truth. Paul and Silas were imprisoned because they said the truth. Socrates was forced to sip poison because he was a man of truth. Stephen was stoned to death because he said the truth. Bruno was burnt alive because he said the truth. Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and even Archbishop Oscar Romero, they were all shot dead because they said the truth. When you want to be a man or a woman of truth, be ready to undergo persecutions, but don't relent in saying the truth. And may God bless us all through Christ our Lord. Amen.